In this lecture, we learn how to measure audio quality. Measuring audio quality can be very important, mainly if you are producing professional quality audio. The final quality of the audio depends on the platform you are using that audio. The platform may have some specific requirements for audio quality or may not have any requirements. For example, if you produce audio for YouTube videos or online courses, your goal would be very simple. You will need to produce clean audio without any distracting noise. The volume level should be consistent enough for a good listening experience. But if you produce audio for ACX or professional voiceover demos, you must follow some specific guidelines. This is the ACX audio submission requirements. Here you will get details instruction on how your audio needs to be formatted to be accepted. If you do not know what ACX is, you should browse ACX.com for some time. Professional audiobook narrators earn a decent amount by narrating audiobooks in ACX. If you can achieve ACX quality audio, then there will be no complaints about the technical production of the audio. For this lecture, we will pay attention into these three requirements of ACX. You have to achieve these three qualities first, then you can think of other issues. These are about loudness level and noise level. The loudness level has two parameters, peak loudness and average loudness. The peak should not cross minus 3 dB. If you remember the normalize effect settings, I always set minus 3 dB as the peak. I have not talked about this average loudness that should be between minus 18 to minus 23 dB RMS. The noise floor has to be below minus 60 dB RMS. RMS is an important feature here. I will get back to it shortly. Let's get back to Audacity and try to achieve these requirements. This is the raw recording where I have not applied any audio effects. I only deleted some unwanted parts from the raw recording but no audio effects have been added. I can check how far this recording is to meet ACX requirements. Select the audio and go to analyze. I have installed a tool named ACX check. You will not see this option in your audacity. I will show you in the next lecture where you can get this. ACX check shows the peak level, RMS level and noise floor. The peak and the RMS level is lower than required at this moment. RMS level is an indication of the average loudness of the audio. The noise floor also failed as it says too noisy. I can process this audio and it will pass the ACX check. I am skipping the processing details. You already saw how I applied the primary four effects in other lecture. To pass ACX check, you may need to apply other effects. I will show that in due time. My processing is done and I will check ACX requirements. This audio is good enough with respect to ACX requirements. Let's conclude this lecture by listening to the audio after improvement. You must make sure the audio is sounding ok regardless of the result of the ACX check. Audacity is a pretty good software for voiceover recording and editing. If you can get good recording, noise-free recording, then Audacity may be the only software you need to produce excellent final audio. Many professional voiceover artists or audiobook narrators also use Audacity. It sounds okay and in the next lecture, I'll show how to install tools like ACX Check. If you are watching this video on YouTube and is still not enrolled in the course, you are missing out. This course will remove all your worries about audio recording and editing in Audacity. You will become confident to do any kind of audio recording and editing tasks. Please enroll in this course.